Well, 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 we meet again. How about we do a quick update video? I've got a list of popular comments here we'll go through and I'll do my best to answer. I don't usually do these kind of videos, but I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. We were meant for this. Crazy thing about this whole pandemic lockdown and social distancing thing. Normally I'm a homebody. I don't go anywhere. I got all that going outside and meeting people stuff out of my system years ago. Now that I'm being told I should stay home, I feel like there's a million places I need to be. First up, the Manila the. I did tell you I was going to see and see it, and I still plan to do that. In fact, all the stuff is still right here on my bench where I left it. Probably chock full of grinding dust by now, but it's still here and ready like it's going to happen tomorrow. But it isn't. Allow me to explain. Not long after getting this, my boy started hounding me about using it. After all, I already had my own lathe, and this mini lathe is small, so in kid logic, that meant the lathe was his and he should be able to use it. Quite frankly, his argument was pretty watertight. Short of it is this. I've put off CNCing the thing because he plays with it every now and again. His lathe time is heavily supervised, of course, but he's been doing surprisingly well. Seems to enjoy it. He's been working exclusively in plastic and wood, of course, as you can see. He likes to make wooden pens, pestle and mortars, napkin rings, bowls, you know, the usual. And of course, his specialty, pointy sticks. For the foreseeable future, it's going to stay manual, which is probably for the best. I've since taken on Project Mayho. Last time you saw this thing, it looked a little something like this. Currently, it looks like this. I'm slowly working my way down to the base machine. I don't know how well it comes across on video, but it's much smaller than it was when it was fronting with all those control boxes hanging off of it. When I first mentioned this would be a winter project, well, my farmer's almanac led me to believe this winter was going to be much longer than it's turning out to be. The big slowdown with this project is the sheer weight of the parts. That, and I don't have a lot of space to put stuff. Everything is big and heavy, and I don't have a good safe way to break this down. At first I thought I'd buy a small engine hoist or something. Now I've settled on maybe just building an A-frame with 2x4s to get this broken down and back together again. Something a little more temporary. Unfortunately, where it's standing, I don't have a good place up in the ceiling to tie to. Nothing I'd trust to hold the weight at any rate. Just getting this head off the whole Z-axis is going to be a nightmare. I've broken down the motor and everything else that would come off, but this next part is basically just one big piece of metal. So nothing particularly exciting has happened, which is why I haven't shared any progress. But next step is to break my way in and see how much space I have to work with so I can order the fun stuff like screws and motors. Start to formulate war plans. The cats. You've been asking about the cats. I get that. This is one of Meatball's kittens. When you saw her last, she looked a little something like this. Her brother we don't see much these days. He only really comes around at Thanksgiving or when he needs money. The little cat's never got names, budget cuts, that sort of thing, though she definitely deserves one. She's an absolute heartless mouse assassin. You would not believe the reflexes on this little cat. Funny thing, I'd never even seen mice around here before. She must be importing them. Orders them from Amazon, I don't know. Meatball? Well, that story is a little more complicated. You may want to sit down for this. I'm not exactly sure what happened. One night, during a lightning storm, I was running the lathe and the router at the same time. Long story short, the lights went out, then they flickered on and off a bunch, organ music happened, something something ancient burial ground, and she turned into a dog. Hey girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Unfortunately, only half the spec sheet came through on the fax machine, because of the lightning storm, I guess. We know her mom is a German Shepherd. No clue about the dad. Give me five dollars. <laughs> All right. Though there's this fat old white lab that comes by every now and again, winks at me and laughs. I used to like that dog. In the past few videos, you may have noticed me and my boy's hands are torn to pieces. Between the maniacal hand washing and this dog, we're falling apart. We can't get her to stop nipping. Sometimes her eyes just roll up into the back of her head and she goes into full-on berserker rage. We do do timeouts and try to redirect to toys, but, well, the goggles do nothing. Fingers crossed she outgrows it soon, while well, we still have fingers anyway. <laughs> The 
eBay welder video. A couple of people didn't quite catch on to what I was doing there. That's not what I want to talk about. It appeared, unfortunately, that I was measuring the current coming out of this thing with just my multimeter. Some of you assumed, naturally, I was being dumb. Some of you read it as a joke. But what you didn't see, and maybe I took for granted, was the current clamp attached to the actual leads on the welder. The current clamp outputs millivolts in proportion to the current running through it. In my case, I think it was set at one to one. One millivolt on the display would have been one amp going through the cables. So when you saw 80 millivolts on the meter, that was 80 millivolts from the clamp, which meant 80 amps through the leads. Hey, so uh, this old Tony just uploaded a new video. <sighs> So did AVE. Moving on, and perhaps most important, is the faucet leaking yet? Given the apparent popularity of that question, I'm happy to report that yes, finally, the faucet is leaking again. I hope you're all happy. Lots of people mentioned the seals appear to be standard Delta parts, and not necessarily fancy OEM parts like I thought. So I'll probably just drive out, get a new set, and drop them in. I'll be sure to put up a two hour follow up video when the time comes. Hey, good job, kiddo. It looks good. But you know, in machining, it's not just the looks that count. You mind passing me that print? Yeah, I think that's a wrap. Let's get out of here.